Yeah. And they have lots of animals and stuff there. They're doing a construction project. And they, um, and I called uh, Joe Fiden Kevitz, the building inspector, to mm -hmm. see if a permit had been issued on it. He yeah. said there had been, but I don't remember it coming before the board at all, the commission. And the reason it's a concern is they're doing lots of excavation huh. within a matter of feet of that uh, that uh, intermittent stream. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of dirt there. They poured a foundation. They're adding on to that house on the north end of it. And they have, don't have any erosion control barriers up whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and everything's frozen now, so there's not immediate risk, but depending on how stabilized the site is, when we get rains in the spring, it needs to be. Yeah, it rings a bell, but I don't know if it's because somebody asked us about it or. I mean, I, I, I don't remember, I mean, I missed a week or so, but uh, I don't remember a site review. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and, there, and we would have, if we had a site review, and then when I looked at it, they would, they would have requested that. Um, I mean, they, because it's, the house is in the buffer zone. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, it's not within, yeah. It's an intermittent stream there. So there's bank habitat. And there's certainly <clears throat> buffer zone mm -hmm. there, um, and and the house is, I mean, it's an existing house. It's a long been long, there a long time, and it's, I suspect, it's almost wholly within the buffer zone. Mm -hmm. But again, they've excavated out to the base down below the basement um, and the quarter foundation, so they're putting an addition on. Mm -hmm. Do you have the address card? I believe it's 82. Uh, Hadley Road. So we need to contact the owners on that hmm. and um, get them to. I mean, I, I think it's a project we would have permitted, even though it's in the buffer zone, right. simply because it's existing house and um, it's all lawn. Um, so I, you know, there were two ways of going about it. <clears throat> One, we could request them to do a request for determination of applicability and put conditions on that. Mm -hmm. Or um, uh, that's probably the, the route they should have gone. Right. At a minimum, if not filing a notice of intent. Because I, cause I think yeah, they can do the work without impacting the resource area. Mm -hmm. um, so I suspect we would have permitted, but yet. Uh, they're not, they're not, they're within 50 feet. Mm. Oh. So, so that's where our bylaw, so our bylaw so kicks in. Yeah, the bylaw kicks in. The owners of the house? Like They've been there probably a couple years. A couple years? Yeah. yeah, two or three years. Yeah, we're not up and running on the email anymore, so we, we haven't, if people are trying to communicate with us with the email. It's not, mm -hmm. we don't have access mm -hmm. currently. Well, I was we a bit surprised the building inspector yeah, I was gonna didn't say. forward it to us for. Can we go uh, through the building inspector? Like he has the contact information and everything, right? Uh, we can, but he was <clears throat> out of town when I talked to him. Mm. Um, so he was in Montreal or something. Mm. He may be back. Mm. And we can look it up downstairs. What's going on with the email? It's a different server or something for the email. So whatever I had before doesn't work. And mm -hmm. I haven't followed through on the new way to get in and then have it forward to me when emails come in. So <clears throat> off the radar for a while, a couple months. Right. So, um, getting back to your site visit you did for the erosion control, yeah. what needs to happen with it? I don't know, but it's a mess. So this is off Hadley Road? Yeah, there's a farm road that accesses back to Mannheim's property, it looks like. And it's a river that goes under that farm road, but now it looks like there's been some beaver activity that built a dam 
like structure around the culvert that would have gone under the farm road and it's flooded all up against it and now the water's found another way up and over and it's it totally made a new channel mm -hmm. uh, across the road up and over and then the, there's other erosion coming down from the farm fields adding to the stuff that's siltation that's going into the river mm -hmm. and that's a river there okay so it seems like you know it seems like it's a used road for farm access but maybe they have another way to get back there and it's owned by Mannheim uh, I think so I'm not sure but this part not this is like an access through other people's property to get to the farm I, I think unless it so it's a I'm private not sure. road I'm it's not a private sure road it's not a town road is. right it's a dirt farm road farm. and it was uh, there's a posting for no trespassing but I couldn't tell if it was for the side property or if it was for the road so I didn't want to go too far into there can we figure out who the owner is that seems like a good place to start so right? we'll have to check on the yeah I was going to look at the maps but they're oh, down there right downstairs yeah there's a planning board meeting. So let's talk about that though. Let's, let's talk about that in terms of what actions we should consider. Yeah, I mean, it's we gushing, gushing right now. It's like, right. yeah, hmm. it's a whole multi-flow river. It's a little waterfall at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the, I mean, ideally, if they could unplug the culvert yeah. with the river with the stream it's still going through there too so I don't know it, it kind of had that beaver adapter look to it like they had put something out so the beaver would make the dam further out and wouldn't totally plug up the culvert but so it's still going through the culvert but then there's this whole other mm -hmm. almost a bigger flow going out up and over its own way so there's so much water I think it might you know it's been so much water it's yeah probably part of it, big part of it so it would require filling in the new channel area yeah. it seems like it the road wouldn't be usable unless that gets redone mm -hmm. so. but you're looking a lot a lot of riprap fill to plug that new channel mm -hmm. right yeah. and then fill in behind it to recreate the road that goes over the culvert is that right? Right. Something <clears throat> like that. Otherwise, that whole thing is going to be a bigger, when the ground's not so frozen, it's going to be a bigger erosion mess up through there. Okay. So we'll find out the owner. I mean. Do you want me to bring the maps up? <clears throat> or should we? You want to leave them down there? We yeah. can't. We, can, we can't. Let's get through everything else. Um, because I'm just trying to think in terms of what our regulatory authority is on that. I mean, certainly we want to prevent any sedimentation or erosion happening into the river. Um, and it's not normal agricultural practices, so it's not exempt whatsoever. Okay. Well, it's a farm access road, so it seems like they would need to... See, it seems like it's almost like an emergency certification to prevent more problems with the road. Uh, yeah, um, but they still need to file. I mean, they can do an emergency. Hold it. <laughs> they can bring it. They can do an emergency <laughs> filing, right? But they still have to, are supposed to follow up with a full filing of proposed activity and maybe. Um, <clears throat> maybe in our well if they were open maybe nrcs could help them with that <laughs> if they're open no, when they open <laughs> when they reopen when they right because i know NRCS. years ago nrcs helped um jim williams with some bank erosion problems he had on his farm right now and provide some technical assistance for that mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be the normal approach since it's a private road and private farm just asking a private farmer to go to nrcs why they yeah. Would they come to us? Well, certainly because they're doing work 
even though it's you know private land and a private road, they're still doing work in a resource area. So we have regulatory jurisdiction over that. We want to make even sure it meets a, a farm. Yeah, even though it's a farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's those two things. Both on Hadley Road. <laughs> And then we have a payment for the added point source for that other project. Point twenty North May. Yes. And so let's update Mark on that. Um, <clears throat> it was pointed out that there were two outlets, not one, on the one twenty North Main project in terms of stormwater management. Okay. And um, and part of the. Uh, requirements is that you have to file a fee right for every outlet so um, so that was brought to their attention so more money I, I paid the fee and while we're talking about 120 North Main yes I we the planning uh, ZBA received the peer review uh, and I met with them I forget what day um, here in town offices. So I met with uh, Steve Curl, uh, the consultant, and three of the folks from the development were there in order for the, the consultant to finalize the peer review, visit the site, which she did prior to meeting with us, and then also to explain and answer questions with regard to her draft peer review report. And so I attended that. Um, and then subsequently she filed her final report, which I forwarded on to y'all, which we should all read before uh, continuing the hearing next week. Yeah, there's some good possible conditions or things to consider for conditions right. in there from our, like, you can know them. It's recommended for the zoning board for conditions or added information. Mm -hmm. I think we could use that as well. Okay. I tried to catch up with you guys to see to join for the outside part, but I was too late. I, mean, I don't know if you ended up doing any of the outside part. Uh, I, I left. Um, I don't think they did. I didn't see the consultant was there. She visited the site before our meeting started, oh, okay. so I don't think. The, the ZBA, Steve, or mm -hmm. the folks visited afterwards. Okay. It's the ditch committee. Did that get started? Yeah, the committee has been formed, apparently. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know if you wanted to be on it, or you said, really, but it's myself. You're on it, aren't I'm on it myself, yeah. Teresa Jones, Bruce Bennett. Uh, I can't remember the name of the other person. They sent us the um, report we already had, the undergraduate, the master's report yeah. from your students, yeah. Yeah. which I did read before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you guys meet yet or just get the No, get there's the no call? set uh, thing or anything. Uh, Sherry said that Dave Pierce was coming up with our focus. Mm -hmm. She said that a couple of weeks ago, but that's the last I heard anything. Okay. And she sent an email today just sending us the report. I can tell you the water seems to be less pumping out of my cellar since there's been less rain, so maybe, I don't know, maybe that's impacted the folks that were here. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely slowing down on the, yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's been going down. strong since July, slowing every down. single day, 24-7. Slowing so. down or freezing up? Uh, maybe it's freezing up. But it's, yeah. you know, the birds are drinking from the, uh, yeah. <laughs> where the water comes out of the farm. Uh -huh. Every time they hear it, they fly down to drink water. Right? Yeah, yeah, I can take, well, I don't take videos, but yeah, it's pretty cool. They hear it coming out of the house and they... They go next to the pump and they drink out of the water. Wow. <laughs> what birds? Um, the common one for the winter that comes down from the north, the juncos. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I've seen mockingbirds out there. Too. Oh, really? They, they, yeah, they don't always migrate, no. Yeah. No. Yep. So they drink in the water. And uh, but it's a problem up and down my street, too. I've been talking to the folks and they're all been pumping water up. So it's not just sort of, you know, Hadley Road. It's, it's, yeah, it's all over town. It's all over town. Yeah. Completely open to whatever <laughs> we on the committee come up with. Well, we said second wettest year and yeah. since 1800 sometime or something. Yeah. 
So did you want to join up on the committee? Uh, share your note if you want. <laughs> I, if you're comfortable serving I am and representing comfortable. us, I am comfortable. I'm happy with that. All right. Yeah. Except for the ticks. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little time before they come I out. I got a little time before they come out. <laughs> <laughs> um, Something's been biting me out in the woods. <laughs> it's been cutting by. <laughs> Something's biting me out. What would be out now? What would be biting now? Something out there. No, so in the, um, in the, uh, anyhow. It's on the ground. It's all oh. in your head. What? It's all in your head. No, I got all bitten <laughs> up over here. In the end, everything's just in your mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what else we need to do? I need to identify the main. Oh, a picture of the playground. Uh, yeah, the drainage, drainage questions for the preliminary playground design. I think, uh, they're going to have a combination. Hope you know the grand plan might involve having uh, poured rubberized. So this is the ground. elementary school. This is very preliminary and, and probably this won't is be the, this because this costs too much. This is the north. Where's the north? The south? school is here. Yep. Um, this, and this is how you get to the back now. Garage. And it's still where there is the, the early so is childhood where the, playground, so the parking is over here, the oh, front entrance okay. is here. So you come in like this. This is the early childhood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is so where it's the, still around. no okay. bigger footprint or anything, just different layout and different features inside the same. So it's within the existing footprint. Yeah. But they had a question about the drainage, if they could have some kind of outflow of drainage that would go right to the, the wetland over there. And I thought it would be, I think if it was groundwater and they're just having the groundwater keep going but that's one thing but it's not for any added surface water runoff but they said so that this surface would all be permeable so it's not adding so more we're, runoff. we're never supposed to allow any point source discharge to a well and resource area for they, surface, they can put it within the buffer zone. surface water. they can put it within the buffer zone yeah not groundwater either if it's a pipe, they don't want it there. Yeah. No matter That's what, what the source of the And someone said the that water another is. town had permitted a, a above pipe, above ground surface water right to a wetland. I was like, oh, okay. I'm not good. aware of that. <laughs> it's a different town. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can ask Mark, but I'm not aware of that. I mean, there's. I mean, there's buffer zone, though. I mean, not all this is right. wetland resource area, so why can't they simply dis discharge it into the buffer zone? Yeah, I think it's a groundwater issue. It's just trying to have the water keep flowing that way and not get trapped in the so where would, subsurface. So where do they think this? They didn't have a, okay. they didn't have a point where that okay. would be, but they just they were, wanted to know where, where they could outflow water. I said, not right in it, but outside of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just redoing this. I mean, it's existing playground right here now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember all of this. I mean, I have the impression the playground goes to here, but I may be wrong. Yeah, no, it's all there. It it's all there. there. So all these there. are the same trees that are there now. Okay. And these two. These would. These are there now, and there's some new trees added. I think. Okay. Yeah, that shed's there now. Yeah, it's over in this corner here, actually, okay. so they would move that or have a different shed. And the swing set is currently here, and they would put it over there, recycle, recycle that, but then the other stuff would Well, be once they do their analysis, uh, you know, we should encourage them to, yeah, they can do a pipe, but they should not go to the actual resource area. Right. It should go to the buffer zone. That's what and think. it should be done in such a way that the flow's diffused out, so there's no... Mm -hmm. Or reduce the erosion. So it's not a little gully going right. there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. That's it for that then. That's for us. That's the note that came with glued us into the oh. Hadley Road Farm Road. Have you seen the new pathway? The new what? The pathway by the river. Just from the river, just from the bridge, looking over. You haven't walked it. I walked it. I haven't. No. It's very exciting. Yes. 
And uh, I was checking after we had that rain in December, just to make sure the erosion stuff was still holding. And it, was, it looked like there had been one almost blow up, but they had already repaired the bat, It was bat a bat little hairy for <laughs> about a week. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna go grab yeah. the maps. When we're hitting rain in December, it's always a little, yeah. it's not right, because the ground of, is not gonna soak anything in. Yeah, over by the pavilion part was another spot that was like, ah, hope nothing goes in in the next rainstorm. Yeah. I didn't check after the next one that came. But. Well, the, also, the water level was just very high for winter. The On the river. Was it getting up to the pavilion? No, but it was close to the path. Uh -huh. So we'll have to see long term. Well, the pavilion is closer to the river's edge, no? But it's built up. Uh huh. Um, but there were parts of the, the path where when the river rose, you know, because it really, it covered that whole f first um, bank. The river was about two feet on the trees. And when that happens, then it's close to the path. So uh -huh. we'll have to monitor that over the, mm. over the years and be a little bit lucky, maybe. But it's, it's nice. Have you walked it? Um, which path? The new path by the river. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> you can walk it right after Is that the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. no, it's very nice. And it's almost done. Um, okay, I, I, I will take the dog up there. Right? Yeah, take the dog. I'll take a dog. And bring a dog back here. Yes. Um, I did send out draft <laughs> minutes. I don't know if you had a chance to look. I did. But we should vote on this. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Yeah, they look good. Just gonna fill this up. All those in favor, say aye. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got elected chair. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty years ago, you, you, just, you just got reelected, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where Plumtree comes in, so it must be 15, is what that note said. Yeah, so on the map here, it makes it look like the farm road is here, but this is the way I went down. I don't even know if there was one there. So this is, so I couldn't tell, like, whose oh, property who's, this is. Yeah. Is it this, this, or is it? Is it all part of the big lot? It looks like it's part of that, right? That's that. So where's Palm Tree from here? Uh, That's Hadley. Palm Tree's this here. Oh, there it Palm is. Palm Tree's right here. Okay, so take a look. Huh. So it's map 15. I did, I did look at this is Mannheim here, back here. And the river is probably this wiggly line coming through here. And then it goes. That? Yeah. And it's coming from this direction. But it was all, this was all flooded all along here, but pushing up against the edge of the road. So you walked in over here? Yeah, I drove to here, and I walked along here, and then up right in here was where there was a note, a posted sign, but I couldn't tell if it was for this direction or this direction, so. And there is a house right here? Yeah. Different, these are all different owners than this. All of these are different owners than the big lot behind. Huh. Yeah, you Mannheim is 15.3. Who's two? Because they're going to, they have flooding issues. Zach, 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 Zach yeah, that's what. Okay. Yeah, Zach. Zach, yeah, that's the big piece of property. That's and right. one? That's where it would come from, too. The yeah, there's one. Oh, that's more of the. Some all skew The old, um, Tobacco farm, because that's there still over here too. Okay. So we we'll have to reach out to Mr. Mannheim. Okay. Who's 17? Who's there? Lloyd, mm -hmm. Tim, and Carolyn Lloyd. Okay. Should we contact this owner too, since? Because it's flooding they, they probably have flooding going on there. Sure. Sure. You write this down. 
How does that work? Does the owner then have to pay for the? Oh yeah, it's the owner's responsibility. Uh, recycle piece of paper. Write this down. Yeah, so they don't have, so this person, this owner doesn't have another way on. So that they would, they're gonna wanna fix it. Unless there's a way in here. over there. Uh, so Kurt, are you gonna reach out to him? Yes. Oh well. Uh, and how does that work? Does he then have to find a company that can do the work and then come with an RDA? So He's a farmer, mm -hmm. and he may very well have the equipment to, to do, do it himself, himself mm -hmm. but we, it needs to be reviewed by us. Yep. Um, and again, this is probably beyond our expertise as well, so we may need to reach out to, um, to Mark Stinson for some clarification on the regulations as well as, you know, if, if you... You, knowing you, he probably will not want to reach out to USDA, I mean NRCS. Um, I don't know him, so I don't know. I, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he probably will not. Okay. But uh, we'll see. And let's see. Uh, the other one. On. NRDS? NRCS. NRCS. I'm sorry. Nat natural, National? natural Resources Conservation Service. They used to be the Soil Conservation Service, and the name changed in 94. And they work with farmers? They work with private landowners and farmers, yes, that's their role. All over the country. All over the country. It's not, country. Just, it's not just a state thing. Okay, so the other owner is Map 10, Lot 15. This is as the heirs of <laughs> the Zenus, but I don't think that's right. I don't think that's updated. So, who's the second owner? It's it, it's the former owner. It's it says it's the heirs of of Blant's Zenis, but she's passed away and it's been sold. So this isn't the most updated property owner. Yeah. So we'll have to, uh, I'll reach out to uh, the building inspector and ask him. Oh, it is. Um, you want me to take on any of that? Um, sure. If you want to uh, take on the Hadley, this Mannheim, um, mm -hmm. maybe I should handle that one, unless you're just dying to. No. So, which one are you farming to me? The, the 82 Hadley? Road? Yeah, 82 Hadley. Road. So I think it's best to find out. It maybe the easiest way is simply to, well, the town clerk would know who the, probably the current owner is, mm -hmm. if not a call to the building inspector, because he's got a building permit pulled for it. Okay, I'll do that one. Okay. So. Gee, I'm not last. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the only town where I'm not last. <laughs> Who is owner and erosion control? Yeah, at a minimum, my perspective on it, at a minimum, they're not going to be able to get a siltation fence in right now. They yeah. could put hay bales in, right? Yep. So at a minimum, they can do that immediately. And, mm -hmm. you know, technically, we should review it and have a public meeting on it with a request for determination of applicability. And I suspect this, uh, the Mannheim will probably require a notice of intent. Because hmm. it's going to be a sizable project, it sounds like to me. And it's not exempt because it's, you know, maintaining their farm room. So it's not That's what, part no, of the farming operation. Maybe, maybe <laughs> I can ask Mark Stinson that question. Yeah. Because yeah. so. they can't get to the farm otherwise, I think. Because that further down, I think it's too big of a crossing. So I don't think there is a crossing there. Right. But I mean, it's, they don't have a carte blanche, right? It has to be within reason and it can't be damaging the resource areas. Mm -hmm. So just because they're agricultural activities doesn't mean they can essentially do anything they want, especially if it results in um, adverse effects on the wetlands. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's a good point. So I'll, I'll put a call into Mark and ask him about that. So I have just accurate. Right. Okay. We got new cards if anyone wants their cards from MACC. Yeah, less than five dollars will get you a cup of coffee. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, the Conservation Commission. No, that means, that means you're a member. You're a member. Of the, Mass Association. Oh, membership yeah. card. Okay, not the business. I'm used to business card. Yeah, yeah. Not. So when you're it's your membership when you're, card. Thank you. When you're trespassing, does that help? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put that gun down. I think is that it. Don't forget the minutes, please. Oh yeah, we gotta approve the vote on the minutes. The last minutes. Did you email? Yeah. Did I? She did. She did. If I could get my <laughs> screen, I think my something dying on this machine. Cause oh, so I must be screened out of yours also. <laughs> do, you want, do you want this with you? Yeah. Or? No. Uh, Falcon looks like the owner. Pardon? 82 Hadley Road. You weren't at the last meeting. I was not at the last meeting. So you don't need to review them. I can't vote on it, no. But she did a very good job. I did read them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and 64 days till spring, by the way. <laughs> I guess that's easier. <laughs> Here a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Oh, I can't, I can't yeah. do it. Right? Yeah, you can motion. Right. Motion to approve the minutes. Second. Second. Any discussion about the minutes? All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Okay. And, uh, MACC annual conference information. If anyone wants it, it's coming up on March second. Have you been to that? I went to one last year. Yeah. 
They can be really quite good. I haven't been I learned a lot. Years. I haven't been in a while, but when I did, I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. You want to see, see the choices? When does your course start? Two weeks or next week? Next week. Next week. First and day of class, well, if it's a Tuesday, Thursday, it's, it's, it's next Tuesday. It's, it's only Thursday night. Thursday night, okay. Only from 6 to 8. Okay. What's it called? Wetlands Assessment and, and Field Techniques. Field Techniques. I make a motion to officially reimburse you for the cost of that so that you'll be better informed on our site visits and meetings, all pertinent to our role here. I so second, second that. If you uh, bring the receipt we'll bring sometime next, meeting. next week, then next I can week. enter yep. it and then get the process going. I will abstain from this vote. <laughs> Any discussion on <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Abstain. It's in uh, Holdsworth, which I haven't been in in 45 years, I think. <laughs> Did you go to school there? I went to school there, yeah. I was not in, it was in the business Didn't school. Did you move over oh. to the new building? This class is in the second floor of Holdsworth. Oh. Yeah, not only are building construction technology faculty are in the new building. Yeah. Back in the 70s, I was in the business school, and Holdsworth was on the other side of the planet. <laughs> I took wildlife biology. I don't know, maybe you were the teacher in 1977? No. <laughs> I didn't arrive till 84. Okay. Took so intro to wildlife biology. Yeah. Probably Fred Greeley. Was it Fred Greeley? Yeah, I think. Okay. Well, at the MAC meeting, they have a workshop on wildlife habitat assessments, how commissions can evaluate and mitigate potential impacts to wildlife. So there you go. When you contact the building inspector, can you just find out what happened in terms of communication with us on 82 Hadley Road? I'm doing that. Oh, call. you're doing that. Yeah. Okay. I will ask that. I know he's been out in and out, and they've had some substitute inspectors. Uh huh. And a couple things went through the cracks during that time, I think. Oh, I do have one piece of information. Sorry. They did lower the price on the 20 acres. On they, they lowered it twenty thousand mm. dollars. So that was six seventy nine. Six hundred and seventy nine thousand for six hundred seventy nine thousand. Twenty acres. Twenty acres. 20 acres. Can't be right. <laughs> but if there's five buildable lots or six, then it makes more sense. Yeah. So I would, again, I, if I haven't said already, I'd encourage everybody to read the peer review. Um, so that uh, for the next meeting. Anything else tonight? That's it. I didn't see anything else in the box. I brought the stuff up. Okay. So I'll reach out for the Mannheim. You'll reach out for the other Hadley Road. And that's our only task, right? All right. I get that. We adjourned. <laughs>